Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. In today's episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations, we are going to be running for our lives from this AI homing missile. So this thing is relentless, it won't stop until it destroys its target, which is either going to be you or a player emitter, because this thing uses the Intelligentsia mod. And in this video, guys, I'll be showing you how the missile works, and obviously we are going to be trying to launch it at ourselves and various creations. It's gonna be loads of fun, so let's check it out. Alright, so here is the homing missile. Now, this may look kind of familiar to you guys because it is basically the same design as my guided missile. I basically took the guided missile and converted all of it into the homing missile that it is now. So, it features an explosive modded warhead at the top there, which is obviously what causes the destruction. We've got loads of wings from the wing mod so that we can actually have all sorts of mid-air control. And also, it uses the Intelligentsia mod for the homing aspect of this missile. So, I'm gonna bring up the connection tool here. It looks really cool, actually, because everything is kind of just in a straight line stacked on top of itself. And so that was kind of the challenge, was making the uh, the design work. I didn't want it to be too big, but I didn't want it to be too small either. And this is basically, I think it's actually kind of as small as I could get it. Now, what I ended up doing, though, was I covered some of the Intelligentsia mod with the surface panels. So there you go. If we actually remove those surface panels right there, you can see that that is where it is all housed on the inside. So... It's kind of interesting, I've never really built using the Intelligentsia mod, and uh, so this is pretty much kind of like the first creation. Now looking at my blueprints here, you can see I do have a few different versions of this homing missile, and really the difference between all of them is just little slight tweaks in aerodynamics or thruster power, as well as changing some of the AI stuff from the Intelligentsia mod. And one more thing that's pretty important with this is that there is a delayed timer on the tracking of the missile, so that way when it launches up into the air, it'll count a few seconds before it decides to start targeting a player and that's because if you actually launch it and it targets you right away it'll actually just kind of go up and over and crash and it, it doesn't really work well so you have to let it get up into the air and get a bit of ground clearance now I guess we might as well just do a quick example here I'm going to be the ground target we're just gonna be standing here on the top of this little surface and I'm gonna hit this switch right here guys and it's gonna go up into the air all right there it goes and like I said, it's going to count to 5, and once it counts to 5, all the thrusters activate, and there it goes. It is now pretty much just going to start tracking us. Now, it's going to figure out its bearings really quickly, and oh, there it is, guys. Here it comes. Oh, jeez. Alright, so as you can see, wow, that thing is pretty accurate. I mean, we were standing here. I think it landed just a few feet in front of us. Now, I think this is probably, like, my new favorite build. Especially because now we can spawn like two of them like this. Now look at this guys. Now we have two missiles going up into the air. And I just, I love them. They're so accurate. They're so fast as well. And once we spawn into some creations, we're gonna actually see just how amazing they really- Oh god, they look- They just like synced right up. Oh, whoa, oh, okay. That one didn't explode. It does- Oh, there it goes. Okay, that one finally- Oh, jeez. That one didn't blow up. Okay, there that one goes. Wow, alright, so- it's kind of interesting, actually. They don't always blow up on contact. And now, that's really because the main explosive on the homing missile is right at the end here. But a really funny thing that I figured out that I can do is I can actually spawn in more of these explosive nose cones. So if we just kind of rotate them like this, I'm just going to throw a few more on there. Now, this... I don't think it necessarily makes it like a 100% chance of detonating on contact, but it definitely increases the odds of it blowing up. Because obviously, guys, a missile, the entire thing would be explosive. You know, it, it's gonna hit, and the whole thing's gonna blow up no matter what. But this one here, it's it needs to be a little too accurate. But if we add those extra warheads at the end there, usually it kind of guarantees the explosion. Here it comes. Oh, yes! Alright, so, uh, yeah, they're pretty accurate. Now, I guess, uh, the next thing we might as well do is spawn in some creations and launch them at them. So, test number one is going to be the awesome factory tank, guys. I'm sure you guys know and love that tank. So, we're gonna be launching a missile at that, but I want to try something kind of different, actually. So, this is spawned way up here. Now, we're gonna actually just jump all the way down into the bottom of this canyon, like so. Now, I'm gonna make my way, maybe just... A little bit of distance off the side of that cliff there. Now, we're going to spawn in one of our AI homing missiles, just like so. 
Now, this is one of the important things you want to do when you're using other creations that use the player emitter is you want to go over to this one right here. This is the AI uh, block. So we're going to press the use button on that. And that is going to add us to the exceptions list so that it doesn't think it's trying to track us. Now, guys, this is, uh, this is the most fun. Just like the guided missile, there is actually a seat here. Now, I'm going to be hopping into the seat. We are now inside of this missile, but I am not going to be pressing any controls whatsoever. It's going to be super lazy, guys. All I need to do is press this one key just like that, and I can sit back and watch this AI homing missile work its magic all on its own. I am not doing any of this right now. Wow. All right. Look, here it goes. Oh, jeez. Wow. Fat hit right on target. I didn't even have to do anything. All I did was sit in the seat and it did it all on its own. Now, oh man, is this like all that's left? That's part of the missile there. I think the tank has been completely obliterated. Now for this one, I'm not actually going to hop into the homing missile. I want to just kind of get a nice view of that tank exploding over on that cliffside. Look, that tank over there, he thinks he's so safe, but little does it know. Now, sometimes it has a hard time calibrating itself in the air, but eventually, I mean, it's only a matter of time until this happens. <laughs> yes. And one more thing before we move on to bigger and better things, I actually want to try and get into the seat. We're going to hop into the seat. We're not going to activate the AI block. So we're going to be inside the very missile that is going to be trying to track us. Now, I have no idea what's going to happen. So we're just going to see here. This is this is for science in the scrap mechanic. All right, it's going to activate. There it goes. And so, yeah, like I said, guys, we are inside the missile. It's trying to track us, but it just can't turn around and blow us up. So it's just, yeah, I guess I kind of had a feeling that this was going to happen. It was just going to get stuck in an infinite loop of trying to hit us, and it just can't do it. Now, I'm wondering, though, what is going to happen once I hop out of the seat? Oh, man, I'm excited here. Okay, I'm going to hop out of the seat in three, two, one. Here we go. Okay, I have hopped out of the seat. There is the missile. Oh no, it's following me. Oh no. Oh, okay, no, it lost its sight on me for a moment. Okay, never mind. Oh, jeez. All right, now it's just dancing with me. Ooh. Okay, there it goes. So seeing as that missile just didn't blow up on contact on the ground there, I've made a new one. So this is another one to add to the inventory of homing missiles. This one has those extra bombs at the top of it there, just to kind of increase the chances of detonation on contact. Now, guys, this is it. We're going to actually try and outrun this one. So I'm going to get into this tank here. All we have to do, though, of course, is turn that one on, get into this seat. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> This is not a good idea, guys, but I am going to try and outrun that missile. I don't even know where it is right now. I can't even see it. I'm too scared to look up right now, to be honest with you. I'm just going to kind of keep chugging along. Oh, no, I'm getting stuck on these hills. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. I was not prepared for that. Look at this, though. It took out our right side. Wow. So that was pretty close. I mean, we were moving. It seemed like it kind of did its approach right behind us there and struck just over on this side here but nonetheless guys that detonation is pretty big so i do have this version of the ai homing missile now this one is just a delayed launch so there's an extra timer in there so that when we actually activate the entire missile we can do that right there look at this now so there are two timers so there's a timer that's activated to launch and then the timer that's activated to activate the ai tracking so we actually just get a few more extra seconds now obviously I was kind of busy just looking at the missile while it was counting up before it fired, but that way it gives you a chance to get into different creations. Maybe they aren't as fast, or maybe it takes a little bit more time to get in it. Wow, all right, so that one was actually a miss. Very interesting. So one missile missed us. Now, what about three of them? So these are three of the delayed homing missiles. We're going to turn them on, and we're not going to look at them this time. We're actually just going to hop straight into our tank here. We're going to start running. So this is three missiles, guys. I, I don't know, uh, I don't know what's gonna happen here. Okay, there goes one, two, and three. All right, three missiles. Oh, God, they're about to start tracking me. I don't even think I can go fast enough in this tank. Come on, we're cruising along here. No doubt they are gonna be on us really soon. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, that one's chasing us on the ground. 
Oh, jeez, that one almost tried to hit us midair. <laughs> and it just hit the cliffside. Wow. Now, one thing I do love about the delayed start homing missile is that we can actually go in here and change our timer delay so that we get a little bit more time to run away. So I'm going to increase this one to 15. We'll go up to the top one and increase it to 20. And that will still give us that five second buffer period while the AI homing missile goes up into the air and starts tracking us. And we're going to try and outrun the missile using this airplane right here. So I've got just the one missile for now if we need to increase how many there are then we'll do that all right so there we go the timer has started oh i and good thing we added some extra time to that delay there because clearly i have no idea how to fly all right here we go guys we are taking off and we are successfully in the air now i'm gonna turn around though i want to monitor that homing missile there it goes it is going up into the air it is above us and it's tracking us. Oh, yeah, it's tracking. Here we go. The fight is on, guys. I better not crash, actually. Oh, no. It's on us. Oh, no. Can we dodge it? We just dodged it. Amazing. Yes, guys, I am actively trying to avoid this missile right now. And it is really trying to hit us. All right, so this is what happens, though, if we don't try and dodge it. Watch this, guys. <laughs> Wait, it just bopped us. <laughs> All right, so there was a delayed explosion on that one there, but it found us no problem. But I feel like we could we could have dodged that for much longer, right? So why don't we spawn back into the airplane, and we're going to see how many we can avoid. All right, so this time I am going to try and outrun three of these homing missiles. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to do this, so we're going to quickly turn each one of those on. We're gonna hop into the plane. Hopefully I can take off no problem here whatsoever. I think maybe if I just hit that little bump. Okay, never mind. Now we're gonna just take off almost vertically. Perfect. All right, we're in the air. Those missiles are still counting. Oh, there they go. One, two, three. Oh man, that is so ominous. Look how scary that is. All right, here they come. Guys, so the name of the game is to avoid these missiles for as long as possible. Oh, jeez, that one just bumped me. Oh, man, I am not ready for this. Uh-oh, I'm going to crash. No, no, no. Oh, wow, I'm not really paying attention to where I'm going right now. All I can think about is avoiding these missiles. All right, so I only see two of them right now. Where is the third one? Did we lose one of them? Yeah, there's those two. Let's see if we can't quickly do a little dodge of that. No, oh, wow, it's so good. Oh, man, it tracked us no problem. And I have a feeling... Oh, wait, we might be safe in this little cave right here. I don't think that missile is going to get us. Wow, look at this. It's just raining debris. All right, so I just thought up a really funny thing here. So this is going to be missile versus missile. So what I've done is I've put an, a player output block right at the bottom of this missile. So this missile here is going to track this one. And I'm going to sit inside of this missile so that this missile tracks this one. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we're going to try it out. All right, there goes the first one. And here we go. All right, that one took off first. I guess it's because I hit the switch that much sooner. All right, so now it's missile battle. Missile battles in scrap mechanic. What is this? I don't know if they're ever going to actually be able to catch each other. So this one is just kind of going in circles, trying to catch the other one. It seems like they might be getting a little bit closer. I don't know. I just, I don't think it's going to actually make it, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop out of this missile. We're going to get that missile right there to try and uh, hit me and then have this missile hit that missile. I, I don't know, guys. It's just, it's missiles on missiles here. Whoa, that one almost actually did get me. All right, so here we go. I am now here. Okay, here it comes. Yep. Oh. Wow. Okay, that one just dropped down a little too soon. And now we just have... What is this? I guess this is a missile, a homing missile that has no target. So it's just going to fly around aimlessly, I guess. Nope. I guess there is still an emitter block down there. Wow. All right, guys. So one last thing I wanted to do was fire some homing missiles at this helicopter. Now, this helicopter is great because... It has a player output block on the inside of it. So what we can do is we can actually bring this thing up into the air. And once we get up to a decent height, we can hop out of it. And then we're going to hop inside of the missile. All right, so I'd say that's a pretty good height right there. We're going to hop out. We're going to go down towards this missile right here. Now, the important thing, of course, guys, is we want to make sure we press use on that so it's not tracking us. 
And, oh, I didn't get in it. Oh, I forgot to get in it. All right, here we go, guys. This is round two. I'm not gonna forget to get inside of the missile this time. All right, so it's right above us right now. I actually really balanced that one this time, so it's not gonna be moving too far forward. Now, I don't wanna screw this up again. All right, so we're gonna do that. I don't know why I'm even actually not getting into the seat, because you can get into the seat and activate it like this. I don't know why I didn't do that, but here we go, guys. We're gonna see if we can't hit that helicopter with this homing missile. All right, here we go. It's now tracking. Now, let's see how easy it is. Now, oh, jeez, it just hit the blades. What? And, okay, it is pushing. We are now pushing this helicopter away. So, I mean, you would think at this point it would blow up, right? But, I mean, that's kind of the issue with explosives and stuff. Maybe I could add, like, a remote detonator or something to kind of guarantee the explosion. But right now we're just kind of hooked in. Can I turn this off for a second, maybe? I know it's still tracking, but... There we go, we're off. I'm gonna turn it back on. Nope. Alright, so these homing missiles definitely have a hard time hitting something that's just not moving in the air. I find it... It's like these things just need that forward momentum. I'm not too sure, but we're gonna try and take that helicopter out. I don't know how we haven't taken it out, but here we go, guys. I got two other missiles, plus we are inside of this one. Let's see if we can't get it. Look, they're on it already. Hopefully it's not up against the wall or anything. Oh yeah, there we go. Jeez, there's just two of us back here now. What's going on? Oh, uh-oh, okay, the helicopter is now crashing. Maybe the movement will help these missiles aim a little bit more. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Oh, it just blew up. And we just blew up. So guys, that is going to be the video for today. I sure hope you did enjoy this homing missile. Now guys, if you did enjoy the homing missile, then let me know by hitting that like button. And if you guys have any ideas, for maybe future videos using the homing missile, then le definitely uh, let me know down in the comments, guys, because this is just too much fun. Uh, so, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Endless Scrap Mechanic. If you guys do want to see more of it, then be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, maybe even turn on notifications so you can get the latest and the craziest coming from me in Scrap Mechanic. Oh. <laughs> And I guess that's going to be it for me today, guys, and I'll be seeing you in the next one, so bye for now.